peculiar You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special you're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a winner What the hell am I doing here? I'm a ninja. I make pizza, so of course I'm a ninja. But you know they were also artists? Duh. Leonardo da Vinci, artist. One of the greatest artists mankind ever seen. So I love Leonardo, Michelangelo, Ra. I know who the fuck they are. Oh, do you? Well, I do too. Duh. I'll head to work to see that. I wouldn't have brought it up, so. If you were... You want to work right there? Yep. Yeah, if you were... Alright, wish me luck. Take care. Uh-huh. <laughs> Perfect. Flawless victory. Fatality. Finish him. Toasty! Duh. He shakes his head like he knows something. I don't. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, I'm not a dummy either. How about them raiders? Well, I thought I was trying to be with you. How do you know? I never said anything like that. I certainly did. I said something rude to you? What was that? You didn't say anything rude. I know. I didn't say anything rude. Why would I ever do that to another brother of mine? Well, no, I said, I said, I said, I said nice jams. Nice jam. No, you You're didn't like, say nice jam. You, you know said, do you know Michelangelo and Leonardo? And I said, of course, they're ninjas. How's that being rude? Well, I guess we're all ninjas in, in one way or another. We're looking at the same story maybe from a different just, side. Maybe I'm just stoned and, and things I mean to say aren't coming out. Well, my name's Isaac. Jonathan. Pleasure, Jonathan. <laughs> like, I never meant nothing weird. No, I know. I, just, I can't. Speak proper right now. Well, so, learn to speak proper. <laughs> you know, when we speak, eventually. we teach, and when we listen, we learn. And that's all I try to do. Hi. How are you? I'm perfect. In a perfect world. Yeah. So, you, so you're doing all right? Well, that's better than really bad. It looks like you're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, most people that are doing real bad, I help them out. Yeah. That's why I ask everyone if they're doing all right. Yeah. And around here, it's a small world. And I have my own tea shop right over here. So if you want to drink tea, anytime, I'll pour tea with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's going. Perfect. How are you? Sweet. Hilarious. My name's Isaac. Sebastian. Do you go to a static dance? I'll be there tonight pouring tea. The Miner's Foundry? 7.30. To the Miner's Foundry at 7.30 every Tuesday. You go up to the top of the hill, and then right where the grocery store is, you take a left. And then if you go straight down that little driveway for parking... K, for KVMR. Yeah. 
It's 15 bucks to have the best experience of your life. Okay. What's going to go down there? Music and tea. And if you don't like either of those, well, then you might learn to like them or love them, potentially. I don't, I don't have money, though. Oh. Well, somehow come up with $15. You can trade maybe that necklace or maybe your shoes or... I don't know. I mean, you're the one in control of your reality, Sebastian. Yeah. You want to pick a medicine card? Maybe that's what you need. What's a medicine card? Well, it helps guide you in the world. Like weed? No, like Native American medicine card. You pick a card. Or maybe a Mayan oracle card. That's up to you. What was the first one? Native American medicine cards. Now, you don't have to pull either. Yeah. That's on your faith or your guidance. I don't need medicine. I already picked a card. Oh, really? Of course. You want to pick a card? <laughs> Seems like you don't want to. <laughs> So I don't want to force you to it. Wait, so wait, wait, what were the two choices? Mayan Oracle. Mayan Oracle. Or Native American Medicine. I'm gonna go with the first one. The Mayan Oracle. No. The Native American. Yes. Hey, do you have a, do you have any money? No. I have some hash. I don't have anything to smoke it out of. You don't? No. Why not? Because it's just hash that you smoked out of the fridge. Oh, okay. That's why. Well, it's all the same thing to everyone who picks a card. Pick with your intention and your intuition. And if a card tries to fight you, you might want to fight back. <laughs> but if your gut tells you to let go, then you better fucking let go. One? Any one you want. It's on you. You say. Your medicine. It's more like guidance. Wow. You are every animal and no animal. That is one of the rarest cards you can pick in the deck. For that shows to me, you already have the medicine inside yourself. Yes. And that the guidance you need comes from within. Now, within, there is nothing. And there is everything. You're the dragon. You're the beast. You're the rat. You're every animal and no animal. And you already know that. So you have all the medicine you need in your heart. And that's what that card proves. That's one of the rarest cards in the deck. I've only seen three people draw that card, ever. So who are they? Some of the wisest people I've ever met. Oh, One's yeah. Nini. She works there at the crystal shop over there. You ever been to the crystal shop over no. there? Oh, well, I'd walk in there because that's heaven on earth. Another guy uh, picks that card. He's, he's a musician around here, and he plays the harmonica like a badass. And then uh, the other guy is named. Uh, so you're the fourth. The other guy's name was. Uh, he's part of my my tribe. I have a tribe. It's called the Barefoot Lotus Tribe or the BLT. So if you want to be in the BLT, you got to answer three questions, right? Okay. Do you want to be in the BLT? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, there's only one rule to the BLT. What? You have to be barefoot 51% of the time of your whole life. How about you? Well, I'm in the barefoot tribe, and I am barefoot 51% of the time. And if you don't believe me, well, just follow me around, and you'll be like, oh, shit, this guy's barefoot 95% of the time. What, what about in the winter? Barefoot. Duh. Are you serious? Well... If you're barefoot inside all the time by the fire, and then you go out to get well, What happens if you want to walk, walk the streets? Well, I would, I would, and shoot, because I'm barefoot most of the time anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, what if you were walking up uh, towards the town? I put on shoes. Yeah. But 95% of my life, I don't have you actually begin to understand what's real in life.